All right, this your boy T Med, and I just shot an event, and I'm out here in DC. Lord knows I hate DC, but I got my gear with me. So since I'm out in the actual street, my last street photography video I made, <laughs> they got me because they said I was in the park, so it's not street photography. So this one, I'm in the street. I'm in DC, so we're gonna see what kind of shots we could get. And also, I'm only one person, so I got my camera and I got my other camera. So let's see what I can get. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a nice rundown on my thoughts as I'm going through DC and trying to get shots. Right here, I see a guy that I wanted to take a shot of, but it's really close and intimate, so I was passing on him. So the next shot I see is this guy sitting right here. Wish I could have got a little bit closer up on him just so I can get more details. But, you know, from my first shot, I didn't feel like it was too bad. Next, we got this sighting right here. Again, I'm working with, you know, my Sony A7S II in my left hand and walking with my Nikon D800 in my right hand. So you can see the picture quality on the camera is a little blown out, but I'm not too worried about it. As so, you know, it's a 10 minute session of getting these shots. So the next thing, I turned the corner right here, and it looked really nice. Um, If I had a longer lens, I could have got the person that was sitting down there. But, you know, I was trying to let time pass because I thought I saw somebody re ready to come up. So I was trying to give them time to come in my vision. So I didn't look too weird about taking a shot of them. But then I noticed a lot of action over there. So... That's where I wanted to go. And then this lady walking right here, oh, I thought it was an ultimate shot. But it just was too noticeable, you know. I had two cameras, so people were just kind of looking at me like, okay, what is this guy doing? And, you know, if you could have seen how I had my camera set up, it was pretty crazy. Um, normally I have my camera set up. All right, I think I... I just like five minutes. No, not even five minutes, like two. And I think I got some good shots already. Better, better than what I got in my last video. So, let's see, let's see if I can get some more activity. I gotta get out of DC uh, before traffic start building up. So let's see. It's a little awkward, people know I'm taking pictures of them, but hey, you know, what? What else can I do? So, like I was saying, normally I have my camera on a crane. So, you know, the image is a lot more stable. Um, so, sorry for this, you know, bumpiness. But right here was like an ultimate shot. And you see they caught me. And then, you know, they were so willing to take a picture. So, I just snapped the picture right there. And then we had the other couple kind of looking. So, I snapped another picture right there and if you look at that picture quality and that white balance i mean that was a perfect perfect scenario for shots now right here now this guy i wish i could have caught him you know from the front side but then i turn around turn around and boom there we have I think this is like shots. I think I'm, I'm getting some action right here. All right, so I parked like over there. But I only need a few more shots to make this a video. I don't have that much, that much more I have to do. 
but we got people willing willing to help so so I noticed these young ladies walking up so I try to act like I was taking a picture of the sign <laughs> I try to act like I was taking a picture of the sign you know she she, she slowed down but I actually wanted them and that's what I got I'm getting a lot of side shots um, I wish I could have got a little bit more facial expression but hey you know I'm out here you know willy nilly just getting shot alright we got 5 minutes let's see let's see if I can go for 10 10 is like perfect so now I'm kind of looking for my next area to go to and I see a few people about to cross the street. And I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. And I see this guy. Not bad. But again, you know, it's a back shot. And, you know, I wish I could have got more of a facial expression, you know. And so I'm walking and I look to my right. And I'm like, hold on. This is pretty decent shot so I'll take a shot of that not too bad but not really what I'm going for so I came to my left and you see a guy right there and so as soon as I was lining up to zoom in to get a shot of him he like ducks behind the tree alright this is the other thing I'm figuring out so I got this in one hand, I got my other camera in the other hand, so my settings are not working too good manually. So I might have to switch to auto, which I don't really like doing. Let's see. Then I see my victim right there on the scooter. Boom. I was like, okay, it's not bad. That would have been an even better shot right there. But I was not quick enough. Carrying both cameras. You got to be quick. So she won that battle. Right here was another one. But, you know, I didn't want the guy to beat me up. So I was like, yeah, let me not take a picture of him right there. You know, it's a nice, a nice day in D.C. Let's, let's make it continue that way. So this was a nice shot. Kind of caught her. I just wish I was a little more up close and intimate. So at this point, I'm kind of scrounging for ideas. All right, we're going for two more minutes. This is actually working out pretty good, you know? Although I do not like, I do not like DC. Just because there's so much traffic to get in and out. But this little block right here, it's like, it's a lot of people walking through. Well, not, not as many as I would like, but it is it is enough to get some footage. So. so I seen this girl from a mile away, and I wanted that shot. But it was just so awkward because she looked at me as though she knew I was taking a shot. So I tried to pace back, but, you know, I didn't want to look like a creep, so. So I continue trying to see if I could form a shot. And, you know, that's the best I could get without, you know, looking like I'm, like, running up on her super fast. But she was definitely uh, suspicious. But, hey, I did catch this guy eating a sandwich. And I'm using my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So it's a very wide angle. So, you know, I can't get as close and personal as I want to. Maybe if I would have used maybe an 85. All right, we got our 10 minute mark. Let's see. 70. Caught. I think it's going pretty good. Got some folks staring at me. But, you know, I'm team head. So. What we gonna do this is going to be the end of my video so 
so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell make sure you follow me I'm gonna have my YouTube and my Instagram in the corner this is a street shoot in DC so yeah I hope I hope this is an improvement from my last uh, quote unquote street photography video but if not hey I'm gonna keep shooting anyway so let's go teammate we out peace